Hello everyone, welcome to our video, today we will be learning about the radiation thermometer, pyrometers. So, to begin, what is pyrometers? The word pyometer can be broken into two words, prio and meter. It is derived from Greek word, pyro means fire, and meter means to measure. Therefore, radiation thermometer, pyrometer, is a non-contact device which measures high temperature, infrared radiation emitted from an object to determine the temperature. One of the best example of pyrometer is infrared thermometer. Now, let's look into the principle. Every object emits heat or radiates energy upon heating. That concept has been used by pyrometers, it will measure the energy or heat emitted by object. The radiation emitted due to temperature is known as thermal radiations. The thermal radiations are type of electromagnetic radiation falling in the electromagnetic spectrum. The total amount of thermal radiation emitted by an object is defined by the Stefan-Boltzmann law, and it is given as the total amount of radiation is equal to the product of sigma, the emissivity and the absolute temperature raised to the power 4. And the unit is watts per meter square. Moving on to the construction and working of pyrometers. First let us look into construction. The basic construction of pyrometers consists of a lens and detector. The lens will focus the energy or radiation emitted by the an object onto the detector. The detector will convert the radiation to temperature reading. Usually the, the detector consists of a device called a thermopile. The thermopile will convert the incoming radiation into an electrical signals and it will display on the screen in the form of a temperature reading. Some of the advantages of pyrometers are as follows. 1. It is able to measure very high temperature without having contact to the sources. 2. It is not too expensive. 3. It responds fast. With this we have come to the end. Thank you for watching.